all right guys we got on to a little something here out of the GNU I wasn't gonna turn the camera on we were just out looking around but uh our last two trout were 17 inches caught a couple small ones probably I don't know what do you think Jake 13 14 inches but uh they weren't bad though no they're still fun to catch I mean during the winter during the winter these fish will pile up in pockets and holes and that's kind of we're not on a negative tide i'd like to have been here on a negative tide so they're a little scattered out but uh they're definitely oh there was a fish they're in these holes i'm just barely bouncing this white z-man off the bottom jake's throwing a chartreuse oh man they're hitting it so quick mirror lure but we're absolutely getting hit every cast What you putting on back there, Jake? Uh, I switched to a cord. What? Oh, there's a fish. I mean, they look About okay. the same size. Yeah. You switched to a corky. Yeah. Let me get this off. Let me get this guy off. Hey, I'm going to try to keep my hand wet. I don't want to take too much of the slime coat off. Best I can. Another pretty little trout. So let's talk about this because I know Randy Flukinger from Safe Floor would be very proud of you <laughs> fishing with, I guess here most people call him Paul Browns. Yeah. yeah. Show us that. Look at, look at Jake. He's gone full on Texan. They're it's getting, bait, it's an awesome bait. And they're getting really popular here in Florida, but for years yeah. that was a Texas bait. Mm -hmm. Got good action. Kind of a medium sink rate. And dude, we have a perfectly good 20, or, oh, 25 foot boat at home. But I've been digging some wintertime GNU fishing. Simple, quick, easy. I think we put $5 in gas in that 10 horse Mercury like a month ago. There's fish. Skinny man. I got his head back down. About the same size again, maybe. Maybe a little bigger. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's a bigger fish. A little bit bigger. That one would. Oof. Got hit. Be still, buddy. That one is definitely a keeper. But again, let's see what we got here, fella. Try not to hurt this guy. A lot of times, guys, when it gets up in their gills like that, you can actually reach around from behind them. And what that did was I didn't damage his gills. I just worked the hook out from the back. And it fell out of his mouth. Glad that worked like I planned. <laughs> that was a keeper trout, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fish on the corky. Got that back hook too. He did, man. He almost missed it, didn't he? He almost got away with it. Yeah, the bad I'm going to turn away from him before Jake catches that hook in his hand. Oh. Good to go. I'm just glad you finally caught one, dude. If not, I was gonna let you reel the next one in. What? <laughs> yeah. There's Whoa. Fish. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. That was something a little different, a little better there. Here's fish. Put that anchor down. Bloop. What do we got? Nice little red. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nice little red. Oh, nice. Gee. That worked. Getting a little choppy out here, so we had to land him on our knees. That's a nice a red, red, bud. Yeah. That's two right there off that same corner. Back to back bites. 
I need to switch my baits. Here you go. Nice. One spot on that side, two on that side. Sweet. Back he goes. Nice, red man. I'm gonna blew that one out a little bit. That was a nice red. I mean, yeah. There's a fish. Good fish? Yep. There's reds all over the shore. Oh, yeah. Got a little red. Yeah, hey, buddy. Another little red. <laughs> I almost fell out of the boat. I almost fell out of the boat. Back to All right. All right. Hopefully we... Ooh. You okay? Yeah. Getting a little too excited. Getting too excited. We got him moving. There we go. Ooh, get Bigger one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Is. nice red, dude. Yeah? Yes, sir. Pounding the reds now. He's right on the side. That's a good red. That's a nice red, dude. That's a decent red right there, buddy. Yeah, man. Come here. Get nice. Pretty fish. Switch to that Z man. Yeah. Oh, he pulled it. Dude, I just threw it. I threw way out there. There it is. Oh, my God. Oh, I know my bait's messed up. Dude, this is worst case scenario. I mean, we're catching fish, which is best case scenario. Yeah. But the worst case is we got a 15 minute run back and it's getting dark. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop fishing. We got no we light. We just found the fish. We just found the fish. Give me those pliers, buddy. There we go. Yeah, they're decent fish too, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're all slot fish. Hadn't caught any real rats yet. I bet they're all around these pots. Let's get cast right there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. That's a fish. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a fish. You have your foul hook. Face tail wrap. Dude, it's a nice red hooked in the tail. <laughs> He's not the fish. I don't even know how you do that. I don't know. How. I've never. There's got to be a pile of them I've right there. I've never. Make sure to revive. I've, I've honestly never hooked a red fish on a jig. Foul hook team. He must have swiped that and missed it. Yeah. Get out of here, little fella. Good. When I first set the hook, I was like, oh, that's different. It was different. So he was hooked back there. There he is. Very good, Jake. Good evening, buddy. That one's hooked in the mouth. This one's hooked, right? <laughs> Oh, I just got the flame. Dude, they're going off. Bye bye, little red. Tell you what, that last one, they're hooked in the tail. Fought hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought it was hung, and I was like, no, it's swimming. But I couldn't really, I didn't recognize the fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Red. Yep. Out in the open? Yep. Might have pushed them off the side over here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Maybe a nice little, yeah. little winter red. Blue tail reds, man. Mm -hmm. Man, he's stuck. Blue tail reds. Pull that anchor, man. Let's slide down this next little hole in them. I keep saying we'll get we out of here, but. Yeah. It actually, man, the fog's lifted a little bit. I mean, it is getting dark on us, but the fog's in there. Huh? You want to get out? Sure. Huh? I'm there. I'm actually scared. Right? I'm not scared. You keep saying that it's not getting dark when it's clearly getting dark. It's not getting dark, Dave. <laughs> it's going to be dark in about 15 man. minutes here. and be like, oh, see, man. Look at me. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with kids today? 
he's arguing with dad it's getting dark the i'm not saying no i'm not the fish are biting i get that i'm not saying i want to go in i'm not complaining i'm just saying what you think is going to happen isn't going to happen <laughs> what do you think i think is going to happen you think it's just going to be light out it's, no, I know it's, gonna it's just going to be a breeze I, man i know it's getting dark i do know i understand it's getting dark guys but the fish are biting i mean we're good dude yeah i know this area like the front of my hand yeah not the back of my hand but the front of my hand so pretty good <laughs> we know it good enough Fish were 22, 23 inches. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. They were all over Some of the ones you got. Yeah. Alright, you know where we're going? Yeah, kinda. Hang on. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to Dad's house. Yeah. 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 Right, guys so that's that would be part three of the GNU adventures uh, you know just because you got you know we have we have all this other equipment all this great equipment great great boat great electronics great everything every once in a while and I've had a ton of fun doing this with Jake every once in a while you got to get back to basics and if you really love fishing you know that's what you'll do and you're fixing to see how basic we got i'm gonna show you guys real quick because we actually lifted the canoe off the trailer to get it through this gap in the fence it's legal it's just a walk path uh there's no ramp here and now we can't get it back up the hill so that's the reality of of fishing and loving to fish is is you know you got to work sometimes you got to work for it and we still do that we we haven't we haven't outgrown that part of it and uh you know i hope i never do so as always jake's fixing to get stuck in the mud hole right here yeah it's part of it We're almost there. We almost got it. A sheriff's deputy just passed us. This is a dead end road. He looked, he slowed down and looked. I would have stopped because I think we look pretty suspicious. But we're pretty sure he just didn't want to help. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him for not wanting to help. This was dumb, but you got to do what you got to do to fish. We got it up too far. <laughs> we got it up too far. What's too far? Huh? The boat or the trailer? The trailer. It needs Plug. to go that way? It needs to go that way. There you go. Here? There you go. Yep. Now we should be able to take it. Let's it spin it onto it. Ready? Ready? We're so close. I've seen people. <laughs> I've seen people crank their boat onto a trailer, but have you ever seen anybody crank their trailer under their boat? Okay. Now you wanna? Okay. Yeah. Good new life, baby. Good new life. I think it's good. And we that did it <clears throat> and that is when you know you love to fish when you're willing to go through something like that 
to fish. And there is nothing wrong with that. If you're the kind of person that's willing to do whatever it takes to catch a fish, whether it's a fish that big or that big, then uh, hopefully you'll consider following us and subscribing to our channel because that's the kind of people we are, without a doubt. And uh, I mean, you've seen it right here. We do whatever it takes. So until next time, really appreciate everybody watching all the views and, and support and everything, the love you show, you guys show my business and my family. And uh, until next time, God bless every single person watching this video or not watching this video. And uh, we'll see you guys on the water.